Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about how to paint a tiger stripe pattern camouflage or a tiger stripe inspired uh, type camouflage on your mags. Of course, this can work on other mags too, it doesn't have to be AR. I've been getting a lot of requests on how to do this. So first things first, of course you're going to have to have some cardboard or a surface that you don't mind getting paint on. If you are doing it indoors, try to find a place where it's well ventilated or have proper protection. The next thing we're going to get into is paints. So right here I have Rust-Oleum. This is uh, what I like. You can buy it on Amazon in a pack and uh, they seem to fare pretty well for uh, what it does. I tried Krylon and Krylon doesn't seem to be uh, what I prefer because it's a little bit more runny while the Rust-Oleum is a little bit thicker. Another thing you want to get into uh, in order to make the tiger stripe patterns are chip brushes. Now you can find these chip brushes at um, Home Depot. Try to find the cheaper ones. The cheaper ones, the better. The more cheap, the better because uh, even though they're lower quality, they seem to make uh, stray, I guess, patterns and it makes your camouflage a little bit more unique. Another piece of equipment you want to get into is um, painter's tape. Now you can use the typical 3M painter's tape, um, but I prefer actually using uh, frog tape. This is two inch frog tape that helps you uh, get wider stripes on your tiger stripe. And it also seems like it seals better for me too. And of course, you're going to have your mags and I have my AR receiver here, or one of the spare AR receivers um, that I will get into later on in, in this video. Now first things first, what we're trying to figure out is what color you want your um, AR mags to be like. Typically Tiger Stripe has black or is black in base, but we can uh, change different colors according to however you want it. Next thing what we want to do is figure out where we want to tape off at. So apparently right here approximately would be where we want to tape off at, at the notch right here to prevent you know, any feeding issues or any fitment issues onto the AR receiver. So I'm going to do just that, tape everything off. All right, so here are my three mags that are taped. The next step, what you want to do is determine what base color you want. As I said earlier, Tiger Stripe has a black base, so I am gonna leave one mag set aside, so that way I can play around with other base colors. I think I'm gonna do maybe a dark green on one, and then a tan on another. So what I'm going to do is remove all the other excess paints over here, open up the garage for proper ventilation, and spray paint these mags. Alright, you want to give it a good shake. Make sure you properly coat or cover everything you want to. So I'm going to kind of go back and forth, I'm going to do a back and forth motion so that way I can evenly coat. Go to the other side right here, spray it here. Make sure everything is coated. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. While the green one is drying, I'm gonna start on the tan one. You want to wait about 10 to 20 minutes or until 
it's uh, dry to the touch before you flip it over and paint the other side. All right, it's about 20 minutes in and the green paint has been dried to the touch. So I flipped it out to the other side, or I flipped it to the other side in order to apply more paint. I'm gonna do the same thing with a tan mag. And we're gonna let it dry for another 20 minutes to half an hour. Typically, you want this to possibly dry overnight so that way you don't get some weird smears, especially for a base coat. One eternity later. Hey guys, it's been about three days since I uh, picked this project back up. By now the base coat should have been completely uh, cured or dried out by now. I guess that's what happens when you work in the emergency response room, but nevertheless, let's continue on to our project. All right, so as I said, I prefer frog tape over the uh, regular painter's tape. Try to get two inches because uh, that gives you a little bit of leeway when you try to uh, make your stripes. So you just take a, a strip of tape and like what I like doing is basically tearing the edges, the straight edges, so that way you can get that tiger stripe effect. So when you tear it, try to tear it randomly. Just kind of go back and forth, go shallow, go deep, get some gouges out, make it kind of uneven, toss your extra scrap somewhere else, and do it on the other side too, the other straight edge. This kind of gives you a good effect because uh, sometimes the paint will kind of seep through these edges and make a very unique pattern. Typically I do about maybe two stripes on each side of the mag. That way it doesn't look too uh, crowded. But of course you can do it thinner, you can do it fatter, if you like with the stripes and you can put more or less but the rule of thumb for me is about maybe two stripes. And you can see here I'm just kind of finishing up some of the tears trying to make it to a slightly unique design and then maybe I'll just do it kind of like this. It doesn't have to be perfect because well, you don't want it to be perfect. See, you can see right here, you can see some creases on some edges. That should be fine. And then you could also kind of scrape up certain places or even crease it up more if you really want to, to make it thinner, make it thicker if you want. I think that one stripe right there should be good and I'm going to continue on with the other ones. Can you see right here? This is not something that I like, so I can always saw all over again, right? Tape is cheap. So I'll just get another strip, and then I'll saw all over again, trying to make a unique pattern. Another thing I like to do is uh, after I get that pattern, I like to 
kind of break it up so that way it goes into segments. So that way, when you put it on, it looks a little different. Sometimes less is more, so keep that in mind. Sometimes I do like keeping the scrap pieces, so that way you can kind of touch up any uh, small places you want to. It may look, uh, you know, some parts may look very bare, so you can use the scrap parts to kind of fill it up. Kind of like what I'm doing here now. Again, there's no wrong way to do this. It's up to your interpretation and how much stripes you want on it. After that, I'm gonna flip over the mags and do the same thing make some more tiger stripes. All right, now all the tape is uh, put on the magazines, we're gonna put on our secondary color. So as you can see on the left right here, this is one of my previous mags uh, that was tiger striped. You can see it kind of came out pretty good. At least I think it came out pretty good. And this is what we're kind of aiming for. So for the secondary base, we're gonna use Rust-Oleum, I think this is called Forest Green. So I'm not gonna put Forest Green on all these mags. I am just gonna remove my already Forest Green primary base mag and spray these two right here. After that, we're gonna let it dry and then we'll flip on and proceed to the other side. While the others are drying, I'm gonna hit this magazine with a Rust-Oleum, come on, zoom in there. Rust-Oleum Camo Brown, or they call it Earth Brown. about maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes, these things should be dry to the touch. And you can start on your next phase, which is put in another coat of uh, color. We're gonna get our tan colored paint. I think this is like desert tan or something. And uh, basically we're gonna spray it on a piece of cardboard somewhere around here. And we're gonna use our chip brush and we're gonna use our chip brush to paint it. So I just use this part of the cardboard just because it's cheap. I can always throw it away or mess around with it. And what we're gonna do is basically use our chip brush, get some paint right here and kind of color in between the tape. And you could put as much or as little tan paint as you want. So for me, I'm just gonna put a little bit. I think I need some more right here. We're just coloring in between, all right? Now it's gonna look like it's very, very tan, but remember, most of the tan will be gone when 
we remove the tape. There's no real wrong way of doing this. Can't really mess up on this because if you do ever mess up on this, you can always spray it all over again and start all over. Now I'm gonna do the other side. I'm just gonna hold on to it. And dab in my tan colored paint. And you can do it however you want. You can just brush it across or kind of I guess poke at it so that way it can create different textures or different kind of lines. And I'm gonna set it aside right here and deal with the other mag. All right, and we're gonna let these mags dry out before we do another coat. Here's a little bit of a zoom in on how it's going so far you can see most of the tape is painted over and as I said the tan is gonna be mostly removed so you're gonna just get trace amounts of tan while the other ones are drying I'm gonna get to my uh, tan base tiger stripe mag here I don't want to use tan on uh, tan again just because it'll probably look a little bit weird so I got this other foliage green Spray paint, same thing, it's by Rust-Oleum. And you can use the same paintbrush if you want to, um, or switch it out. Um, I'm thinking of just using this for now, because I want a little, little bit of a lighter color. But uh, if you don't want the colors to mix or change, uh, definitely switch out your chip brushes. We do the same technique, we're gonna just paint inside the lines and we just want a little bit of kind of the spillover so that way we still have some color on the mags. Alrighty, so I think that's sufficient enough paint for now and we're gonna wait until this is dry to the touch before we apply other colors. Alright, so we have the black base tiger stripe here and what I'm gonna do is use the Rust-Oleum earth color or brown earth color to uh, paint more additional stripes. Now depending on how tan you want your mags, you can either paint more over on the tan or less. In this instance, I want my mags to be a little bit darker, so I'm gonna paint a little bit more brown over the tan. All right, so we're gonna use our smaller chip brush and we're gonna paint most of the tan here so we can have a little bit more of a darker mag. So, as I said with the tan, don't worry too much about it being too brown because you're gonna remove most of this color anyways when you remove the tape. And as I said before, you can kind of dab it if you want or brush it on to vary some of the texture of it. I think I'm pretty satisfied with this one. We'll see how it turns out. We're gonna move on to our next other ones. So on to our tan base tiger stripe mag. I'm probably gonna use brown too and see how it turns out. You can see I went a little bit lighter on this brown, but let's see how it turns out. Now here's my green, here is my green tiger stripe mag. Uh, since I don't really want to paint it black, I'm only limited to brown and uh, tan. So let's pull this out and make some finishing touches on this and see how it looks. It's 
So it's looking pretty cool so far. But I'm still gonna add a little bit more finishing touches on it. So here is what it looks like right now. Doesn't look too bad. Breaks up the pattern for sure. But I think I'm gonna put a little bit specks of uh, tan on the green part just to kind of uh, make it blend a little bit more. And then you could also, you know, while it's still a little bit wet, you can also scrape it, smash it around or smush it around, make it a little bit more blend in, blend it in so it looks better. So next up I'm gonna do is gonna get some tan and kind of add some specks on it. So here's a little bit of close up of what it looks like right now again. And let's get started on the tan specks. So you don't need too much. Make sure your brush is dry and if you want to switch to another one you can but uh, this is good for now because everything's kind of dry for me. You just want to dab a little bit. And what you're going to do is just kind of poke at kind of the green areas just to break up the, spe uh, break up the pattern a little bit. Not too much. Just make it look a little dirty. some on the bottom just to break up that solid brown color and ladies and gentlemen I think we are done with our first mag here is the finished product doesn't really look tiger stripey for this one Looks like some kind of other green vegetation camo, but I like it. All right, moving to our next magazine. This is the one with the tan tiger stripe. Let's see how it looks. All right. So here's our tan tiger stripe camo. Looks all right. I think I'm gonna put a little brown specks all over it just to kind of break up the pattern like how I did with the other tiger stripe. This part looks pretty good right here I think. This one, it's all right. I think we're done with the tan tiger stripe. I think it looks all right. This is my first time doing the tan tiger. But either way, it's definitely camouflaged. All right, last but not least, this is our black tiger stripe that's been drying. It feels pretty, it's still a little tacky, but I'm gonna remove it anyways and see how it looks. All right, we removed most of the tape, or all of the tape. Came out all right. I kind of like it. I think I'm gonna put a little more tan on this bottom area just to break it up a little bit. But we're gonna pepper it a little bit with a tan on the black parts just to break up the pattern. This one doesn't need too much because the stripes seem like they're pretty narrow. Cover this part up a little bit. And I think she's done. And there you have it guys. This is the end product of our work. 
If you learned anything today, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, comment below if you have any other better painting techniques. But I think my next project will be either doing a tiger stripe on my rifle or even maybe a digital night camo or my interpretation of digital night camo. Well, until next video, have a good one.